So yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to amp up the the because how many episodes are they gonna do? Probably eight. I think so eight because it says mid season. I think it said mid season trailer. So okay. I'm assuming. So just yeah, eight. I think, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the guess then that the, these last four episodes are really gonna action pack go. probably. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess I, my thing was is like a we'll lot see. of people were like, oh, the first two episodes are really slow, and for me, I was like. Well, I just kind of expected a sitcom with like some undertones, so that's kind of yeah, exactly what I expected. I kinda, and then I guess you know, too, as being as a comic fan, I kind of really understood what was going on. You right, know? right. Like so the I whole like, reality. I, I knew that the I knew that Wanda was you know kind of already war- warping the reality and. Right, we all kind of stuff. anybody who had read comics and had seen like House of M. Would there's a lot of uh, little kind of teasers to let oh, you know that it was like absolutely. Um, and I mean, if any anyone familiar with like. The comic stuff, like you said, would have been like, all right, look, there's sword symbol, which at first I was like, wow, that's a weird looking sword symbol. I hadn't seen the, that one part- in particular, but I'm sure they just borrowed it from a comic somewhere or maybe they designed a whole new one. I'm not sure. I but, think that is a sword logo. I it, have sword issue here. I think I was looking at it. Let's see. Oh, I was uh, looking at it earlier. Because they're fairly new sword. Uh, I, re- I remember that they came out in... Uh, like 2000 X-Men. Yeah. Um, 2005 or something? Yeah, Maybe. probably around then, yeah. Because, yeah, they have that new uh, run with uh, Abigail Brand. And uh, remember, because she kind of got mad at uh, everyone towards the end of... Uh, what was that? Oh, Empire. Yeah. Remember? I, and I forget I remember what was the reason why she got mad. Something because she didn't like the way they handled the whole situation or something like that. I couldn't remember. I mean, she's always angry <laughs> she, at something. She her got angry, is, and so she's like, "I'm gonna go do my like own that. thing." <laughs> so, um, other than that, uh, I mean, it, it, it's pretty good. The show I've been liking the show. I loved the. I don't know. I just liked it. it was cool just to see kind of the sick. I enjoyed it. Too. I thought I there thought was, was a just... lot of, especially for. Um, I don't know. And obviously, maybe I'm biased. I'll have to go back and watch it again and like see it with a new perspective. But I, I really did feel like the attention and level of detail put into the production of this was really well. Like all of the episodes are done in the production style of the year that they're meant to take place in. So like if they're special effects with like a couple exceptions, they match the style of the mm. comic that they're put in. So the Bewitched stuff looks like Bewitched. 60s yeah, special cool. effects yeah um, i like that they went from 50 60s yeah there was, was like a lot of good stuff you could see you had like and I, I was trying to figure out what to come the like episode three was i couldn't i couldn't tell if it was like the brady's or another one i'm sure it was another one because it wasn't quite the brady's but it kind of once again they're doing these stylistically i think it was the brady bunch yeah there was a brady bunch kind of intro at one point but um uh, but it was really interesting at least to me to see this because and i I guess it's funny because I didn't appreciate it as much with Jessica Jones, but I think it's because I wasn't expecting it until I watched Jessica Jones. And even mm-hmm. saying that, like when I watched Jessica Jones, at least the first season back through the first. As first season was good. I loved the first season. Second, and... I, I didn't like it the first time I watched it, but I think once again, it's because I was trying to watch it as a superhero show. And it's not a superhero mm. show. It's a detective it's show. A, yeah, that's a, that's kind of what that's, I went in with exactly. that one too. And so, so for me, like when I watch it the second time, it's much better as a detective show. It feels better watching it. Second season, I was still a little iffy on it. I don't think I've, I still don't think I've watched the first yeah, second season. season. Yeah, I don't think I finished watching. Maybe we did. I can't remember. Maybe we didn't. I just blanked it, but I swear but I, I haven't I, seen I, I remember, season. yeah, I didn't care for second too much. I, the first, there was first, just first a was couple really things that, like, pushed the limits of, like, superhero, and, like, obviously she, it's an up and down thing with all of it, but I was just like, ugh. Um, having said that, <laughs> this one, I went in and I was like, alright, I know this is gonna be a sitcom, they've told me this is gonna be a sitcom, I need to, like, mm-hmm. and when you look at it like that, I feel like it's much better. I will say that, obviously, like, People who feel like it's slow aren't wrong. That's just one opinion, right? Like, yeah, I mean that's because I've heard it, it, it is from slow a at the, bunch it, of people. But then, again, like you said, you have to kind of go in knowing right. it's going to be a little different. So kind of you know go along for the ride. Don't be like, oh, man, right? Where's the explosions? Up. Why is no one flying through? Like that's that's how I felt. Like everyone's things was like, this is so slow, and I was like, I guess, but it's really like it's slow in the sense that I wanted it to be. That it's this kind of reality bending thing. You do get hints of everything going, even in the first two episodes. 
I thought mm -hmm. the use of music and soundtrack and like good acting uh, in episode oh, one with yeah. the hearts um, was. The, a... I can't remember her first name, but she. I only know that she's one of the Olsen twins' uh, sister. <laughs> yeah, um... uh, but she she did really good. Like I liked no, her no, no, her, uh, her acting from. Uh, I also Go, Elizabeth Elizabeth I, Olsen, yeah Elizabeth yeah. Olsen I think okay. I also always uh, want to remind people because I feel like a lot of people don't know that this is done live this is a live Marvel show that's done in front of a studio crowd like people see, don't, I didn't even know yeah that most people don't know that this is done cool. live in front of a studio crowd Paul they Bettany really actually out, talks then. about it yeah they went out it's a sitcom <laughs> it's done in front of a studio audience and all that stuff I'm sure the special effects aren't but. Mm -hmm. With that, with the exception of that, I think it, the rest of it was filmed in front of a studio audience, because uh, Paul Bettany had done a whole piece on how he how that was like a new thing for him, going mm -hmm. into like a live performance as opposed to doing a uh, movie. Yeah, filming. that's uh, that's very totally, much different. Yeah, yeah, I, and, <laughs> and I feel like you can feel a lot of it in in the acting and the presence and stuff. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I'm sure there once again that there are pieces that are not done in front of a live audience. Maybe it's full of, like I'm maybe I'll have to double check before I. Uh, one division done before. So far, I liked it. I liked four. Really did good because now it really kind of like put all the missing puzzle pieces and like all the little hints that they were giving you, and they kind of are now connecting. And then you're like, okay, oh, all right, now now we're understanding what's really going on. So um, uh, I really hope that people who found it slow at the beginning, you know, they they kept on and you know, ride it through the uh, the fourth episode and fourth one. Like I said, really kind of brought everything together and. um uh, really trying to even do that connection of the other movies as well. So, um, and letting us know kind of where this is taking plus, uh, place in the timeline. Um, yeah, that, I, there was uh, a lot of cool stuff. They cool. had a really cool uh, kind of mirrored effect on the snap, which I thought was really cool to see like mm -hmm. both sides of coming back, which was nice. I think that was important and something that wasn't really addressed like in the other one. It was like, how do we handle all this? Um, and I wonder if we're gonna get a spectrum uh, superhero. Uh, what it's Monica Ra Romba, right? Can't remember say the last name. But uh, I know she's supposed Rambo, to. Be, she was Captain uh, Marvel. Yeah. And then went to Spectrum, and uh, yeah. So I'm curious what they're gonna do with that character. If they're gonna go, I, for I think full it's interesting because they definitely <laughs> they definitely pulled the connection right. Like you saw it from uh captain marvel to here mm -hmm. oh uh, yeah with we him, also obviously yeah. got the dude from ant-man which i thought was awesome just a random like, yeah inclusion. he was uh, it that was, was really refreshing I yeah liked, he, i really liked him fresh off the boat is, show and, uh, uh he is one of my along with the uh i can never remember the actor's name but the latino guy from ant-man one he's like my favorite oh, side um... character that's what's his. Uh, I can never remember I, his I, name because yeah, he's always a side actor. You know what I mean? He's never mm -hmm. the main character. Um, and I'm looking, and maybe you know it who wasn't else I actually, liked that was good in this uh, Wandavision was uh, Kate uh, Dennings. She was. I was kind of surprised that they had brought her, you know, into the show. So, oh wow, well, look, it's it's uh, Kate Dennings from Thor number one, and I think was she in two or th I can't remember. I know she's in a couple other movies, but it was just kind of cool to just kind of see. Uh, an old kind of character side character show up. Oh, absolutely! She did a really good job too. I liked her in the fourth. Her and uh, Wu were pretty awesome. Like no, together. they were I absolutely. Liked, liked they had like a uh, a definite um, chemistry. You know what I mean? There was this like serious kind of like Monica, <laughs> and then there was like, yeah, I don't know, man. Like flipping out his mind. You know, that was that was great <laughs> My, to, to do those little um. Little things, when combined with big things, make things great, right? Like, if it was just those little things and not the overarching story that I enjoy, and really, even the sitcom stuff, like, for me, a good sitcom, I know a good sitcom when it makes me, like, bury my hands in my face out of, like, uh, empathetic embarrassment, or whatever, sympathetic embarrassment, where it's like, oh my god, that's so ridiculous, but I know that's, like... Uh, and this one had me doing it a lot. Like, there were just so many. There were a lot of good dad jokes, which I think is a staple of any yeah, sitcom. Those are so good. Uh, a lot of those ones are revolved around Vision, which were good. And I thought that the <laughs> inclusion into uh, the, the references making those jokes was great. You know, my husband in his indestructible head. Uh, mm. I remember the one Vision, you're awfully dense. Uh, there's just a bunch of little ones that are set there for fans who are paying attention. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then combine that with the what I thought was very good production, uh, nice 
script writing following the concept, right? Like knowing that this is supposed to be a parody of former sitcoms. And I looked and it's the first couple episodes. So I assume the first three episodes were filmed in front of a studio audience. And then, yeah, probably those ones. And then the fourth one kind of. Yeah, that one was definitely more of a production. And... Mm hmm. Yeah, but it was I, uh, it was good though. No, to, I, I and again to see more what's going, what's kind of connecting. And everything. I felt like it was refreshing in the sense that like I wanted to know what were they gonna do after the MCU and what, mm -hmm. especially going into TV now because their only TV foray from the MCU is really Agents of Shield and mm -hmm. the rest of it is all like side stuff, right? We've got uh, Runaways right. and Gifted and all this, but that's not like tied to them very much, whereas. Agent's Shield kind of was, and it did pretty well, relatively speaking. I mean, it ran for a long time, got some good, good yeah. decent numbers, but it was always on the ups and downs of the critical acclaim. P people were like, they need to bring it back with Kate Dennings and Wu. There, or somebody was saying like they need to do like just, an uh, X Files. Yeah, they do. I did see film. that. Yeah, I would love to see them running around <laughs> just solving X Files cases, and I was like, yeah, do it, awesome. And it's just like <laughs> Wu getting pulled into bullshit all the time. And I was like, I gotta save him, or the opposite. And then Wu's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh no but they would be great uh and i think that and then there was something else i think about falcon and the winter soldier today um i haven't heard anything about that but, i swear um, uh they had know, revealed had... zemo's villain costume oh okay yeah well, they I got they got some, some screenshots rumors about um wandavision being really connected to doctor strange too i'd, I'd be um, super happy to see it i think it's very interesting that they really did go all out with this in the sense that even if she's not like doing the levels of house of m stuff where she was like multiversally mm -hmm. warping reality still it's it's nice it's to, still you nice know, to see it, her powers displayed you correctly to, like you said, yeah you have, to, you have to go from comic to movies and sometimes comic to movies it doesn't always it's not go. always work but <laughs> yeah the they way. i think they released a uh either a uh some character designs or whatever for it something <laughs> nice uh and I'll they got yeah and they got zemo on his thing i want um, maybe I'll it's show cool to see that. that he's back in too because I, I was curious what they were gonna do with that character I, I i think he's very interesting i want to see what happens because i feel like the way they wrote zemo in the new movies is very different than zemo in the comics obviously Oh, yeah. Uh, so I don't know how they're going to like, obviously, maybe his motivation is still just to break up the Avengers and break down the superheroes who are like mm -hmm. casually like doing whatever. But I, I just I don't know what it's going to be. For all I know, he's going to be working with them at some point, which I mean, that's a comic trope anyway. But but it's just one of those things where I'm like really interested to see how that's going to develop. Uh, I'm excited, like I said, because I was wondering, like, what are they going to do after the movies? How are they going to stay relevant and fresh? You know what I mean? Because for mm -hmm. me, sometimes I, I will definitely agree that sometimes the superhero formula is a bit worn off a little yeah, bit. Never. You got to try different and new things, um, especially just because I think of the last couple superhero movies I had seen, which is like Spider-Man, uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, there haven't been that many, obviously, because it's been like a whole year. <laughs> since we got any but those are the kind of two i'm thinking of it off the top of my head and while they're not like bad movies at all i think that this the shiny luster of like the basic superhero formula has kind of worn off and there needs to be like new dynamic things put into play so like i'm super excited for the next spider-man and them doing the it sounds like they're doing the whole multiverse thing with andrew garfield yeah, and totally, i mean if they I'm, get that I'm off really that's gonna be great what they're I, really be, doing and it'll like, be fresh you know what i mean that'll be very yeah. fresh for a movie uh, I mean, I guess the Spider-Man animated movie did it, but with exceptions of that, we really haven't played any multiversal games in either of the comic multiversal movies. We did get that from um, DC's TV shows. They did a whole big multiverse thing, which is great. I heard I still got to go check it out. I heard it was great. It, it had it stuff from all of their titles across movies, TV, all of it. But... Uh, that doesn't change the fact that the shows as standalones are not always interesting to me and are sometimes mm -hmm. harder to digest as full things. Well, you know, when I when I see those, you Kinda can like tell that the Marvel show TV too. shows are on a, on a whole level, di different level of production, as you can see. Cause oh, yeah. When you look that's, at the Flash and everything, there's... That's, to be fair, it's also the difference between a weekly television show, right? That's and true, a, too one time eight episode right and that's always we kind of got to balance that of like 22 episodes every week or versus mm -hmm. wandavision which is taking like six months 
or how, or however long, like a year. <laughs> right. Yeah, way longer, way longer. Um, but uh, and we're only getting season. eight, which is oh, I'm yeah. a little irritable that they're only eight, and then they're only thirty episodes on top of that, or thirty minutes on top of that. That's a little irritable. Have to they me. been thirty? I thought they've been no, about at least forty minutes. No, the, you're not counting the nine minutes of credits. True. Oh yeah, that's why are they so long? Oh, they're they, like, super they're so long, and it. Disney the same, bro. Like Disney's uh, Mandalorian, all that is the exact same. Like because I do the reactions for the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and uh, I have to cut them down. You know what I mean? I have to like cut them and put them up so I don't get flagged. And immediately, like I don't even have to cut it. I just skip intros and skip outros, and I'm down to like twenty minutes. <laughs> I, I swear like maybe 25 but it's maddening how much credit and i appreciate that because it does give the chance for the credit people to shine in a yeah. way that like anime credits don't where it's like you got one page of like the main guys and then everything else is this tiny little you text you can't read any awful <laughs> but at the same time when that is substituting for nine minutes of what is not even a, a full hour runtime or a 30 minute runtime then i get a little irked, irked and i'm like I've been waiting and I, I need more. I need more. More. No, you know, and that's really where I kind of got to like pull myself back. It's like, look, you're getting what you're getting. You can't like you can you're you know, you'll devour however much content they put out. It doesn't matter how many episodes they put out. I'll ask for more. That's the that's the fan mentality, right? That's like, all right, more, 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 more. Mm -hmm. So it's like I just got to relax. I got to appreciate the episodes that are coming out and take it as it is and just see how it'll go in the future. You know what I mean? Because even though i am really enjoying them that is my one criticism on some of the marvel disney stuff is just like the length i will say uh at least with the mandalorian they're longer than 30 minutes right like most yeah, of the time no, those push. are definitely much longer yeah yeah they, once again with the credits and stuff it doesn't go too too terribly much longer but they're usually 30 to 40 minutes and there yeah, are no, I, certain I episodes that go in one divisions yeah much shorter sometimes i'd be like oh it's already done and to, like, be, to be fair it's a sitcom right it's yeah. short it's thing and i gotta like kind of balance it all but i just i'm one of i want more stuff so it's kind of rough <laughs> for me to have like these short episodes i'm like ah i haven't well, said that it's been great yeah you can watch dinosaurs to uh hold you off till then dinosaurs <laughs> which one's dinosaurs uh, they put uh dinosaurs on disney plus from jim henderson oh you're not the dude. mama yeah, not the mama. I was remember. I was like, because at first I was like, dinosaurs. Are you talking about the Disney one with? The, no, not uh, that one. Yeah, yeah not but the movie. dinosaurs. Yeah, the show, yeah. yeah the sick, not the, the mama. The show, world guess, is flat. Right. <laughs> I love so, that one. We've been watching a couple of those episodes. This has been pretty good to They're watch. Good. I feel uh, like that show is if the Flintstones were actually dinosaurs. You feel me? <laughs> 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 That's how I feel the episodes run. Um, um, oh, so but I, what I really want to talk about too, though, we should have showed that trailer too, but. Uh, the Godzilla and King Kong. Uh, yeah, ah, oh, we should have done that one. That one was maybe we'll do that one at the end. So that was actually excellent. I've been the forums have been blowing up everywhere with the whole like actual first fight, but I'm just excited to see it. Uh, well, you know, well, I don't well, care. Well, first of all, we already know that they're gonna end up teaming up with each other. Yeah, because... to beat Mecha Godzilla, of course. That's, yeah, that's that's always how it works. But but you know, people are still stuck on this whole thing, and obviously, like there's. A lot of rhetoric behind it, like I'm a walking power plant. Me monkey, ooh gook, punch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a, I was uh, very surprised that they gave him. Well, I mean, I guess they had to because you know they gave him yeah. this hammer, and I'm I'm really curious on what that hammer. Yeah, made that's of, it's got to just be some kind of metal. Yeah, from the island is what I assume he's got. Oh, well, like, I, I wonder where they're gonna get this big chunk of metal from. Is around. <laughs> I, I'm guessing <laughs> like, that Kong gets the medal. I don't know. I don't know. They'll we'll probably see. get it for him. Uh, be, I bet you that because be cool especially because it seems it. like they're going to be pulling in that whole big history thing that they've been doing. You know what I mean with their shared monster yeah. universe, where they're gonna be like, all right, like Kong well, I've been and Godzilla yeah, fought before. Oh no, we yeah, we've been talking about it for years now. How the, how we've been waiting, and we also talked about how they kind of. Uh, kind of fucked up with the first Godzilla film doing it, but they kind of, they made up for it for, with Kong. So it really didn't I'm matter. I'm still okay with it. I know people, yeah, didn't like it because it, it we really did not get to see him. You didn't get to see were... Godzilla. Yeah. You got I know that Godzilla's on screen for like 10 minutes. I was minutes. still okay with it. It was okay. You know, uh, my only second thing one was is... much better, yeah, because they did give us what we wanted was a big uh, monster fights. And, and I mean, uh, even beyond monster fights, I was just irritable at the first godzilla for the same reason i was irritable at cloverfield they had a really cool idea 
that was kind of screwed over by the fact that you never really saw the monster. Like it, it, worked, it worked, which works on a horror movie because it, you know, you know, when you don't see what it is, and you get even more scared I, because you I start agree imagining. on but a that straight work with Godzilla, because right? Like, and that's where I'd say Godzilla. horror versus monster movie. A monster movie, for example, uh, and even even some horrors like horror monster movies, like uh, it or yeah. the thing, you want to see the monster. You know what I mean? You want it to be mm-hmm. not visible, but you also want to see something scary or freaky or uh crazy right whereas i feel like then you have other kinds of horror where it's like all right you you don't even see them let's go they're in the bushes (laughs) uh alien i think is kind of like that alien is very much yeah no yeah that was a very good the first one but even then you have to see the monster at one point to give you that kind of like tension of scariness of like Mm -hmm. Um, and that would be my only real criticism of that movie is not seeing Godzilla, even beyond the monster fights or whatever. I just wanted to see more Godzilla, which I realize is bad, hard because it's fucking super expensive to do super special effects or whatever. But that was my only bad thing about the first Godzilla movie. Otherwise, I thought it had a pretty interest. I thought it did a better job than every other Godzilla in the sense that it had an actual decent story behind it. Yeah, no, that story was good. I like the story. The second one story was good, but then, like you said, they had we had it that whole yeah, it was, mother daughter. Yeah, which I guess I understood what they were trying to do because they were trying to say that the human race is also just as big as this, these monsters. Yeah, it was like Brad, but, but that was like mm, it was I just interesting. See the monsters fight, right? It was that was, and which is the point of Godzilla, right? That even though Godzilla is <laughs> like Godzilla, now break down a building, um. But having, you know, having said all that, it's still a good collection, right? Like watching it from the start to finish is good. I can't wait to see this to cap it. And I don't know. My big thing is I want to know where they're going to go after this. Well, I know they have a lot of the rights to the Toho monsters. That's what they said. So they're, right. they're definitely not but done. The, they, and there's the so problem, much that they can. There are. But I, th- yeah. I feel like the problem with those monsters is that the big hitters are Godzilla, King Kong, then... But Mothra and Gojira, uh, uh, go, uh, Lord, whatever, Gon, Gadar, Kavar, the three headed dude. Uh, yeah, no, those are the main ones. And, uh, but there and, is still a lot of, uh, no, no, there's, there's more out there. Yeah. I think the, um, the thing is, there's the, Destroyer. They could do Destroyer. Well, no, Destroyer they, they have other ones, but I feel like if you were to ask anyone who doesn't watch Godzilla or Toho monster movies or read comics, to name anyone besides those four, they'd be lost. Yeah, no, that's true. But uh, I, I was, I think it'd be cool if they, if no, they I, Americanize our I, versions. Oh, I we'll think see. the good thing would be to do, to pull the Marvel kind of run and slowly pull in introductions. Yeah. And, they Cause it, they've, like that. we've proved that we can do it right. Like with guardians of the galaxy and Ant-Man that you can take these characters that don't really have established uh, ties really but are in the same universe and mm-hmm. by connecting those universes lightly and, and making a good story. We're going to do something. I like think that, that they, I think that would be cool. Some things, right. Other but, monsters. but I think they're just, it's going to be a lot. And I think it's going to be difficult in that sense, because a monster movie, by definition, we've talked like you want to have a good monster fight. Right. And then mm-hmm. the second story comes secondary. But I feel like for new things, a lot of what endears us is the story, right? Like guardians of the galaxy is, so fun because of the characters and the way they interact and stuff and so i'm just interested to see how they might make those connections and do those things in the new toho monster movies and how they're going to do that yeah we'll see how far they go with this that's definitely uh look i mean i'm excited i love monster movies i was so excited when pacific rim came out yeah that was a good one i was like hey hey maybe uh Maybe Pacific Rim uh, time. <laughs> we don't know, man. Hey, look, the world's open. Few- they just announced that Deadpool 3 is going to be the raunchiest Deadpool on the block. So Yeah, so that would be cool. Yeah. I mean, um, um, you I know, can't wait till they do something with Predator because I know they're doing that yeah. Alien TV show. I, I've yeah. been wanting a, a really good Predator movie. I, I yeah. know, you know, I like number three. Three was okay. I'm not going to say three was that bad. I did like the character designs of the new Super Predators that they made. They were they were, they were fine. I felt uh, like the story is really what suffered in that once again more than the, and it was the a, action. You know, and I actually kind of like the whole idea of them being dropped at this planet. You know what no, I no, didn't that, like? That was I guess fine. it was more of the... 
I didn't like Adrian Brody being the main lead, mm. honestly. In I that feel like movie. most of the characters in the movie were not like. And there was a couple of them that I didn't care for. That I, I, was I like, even eh. beyond not caring for, I felt like it wasn't cast. No, that's to say, the like typing. some of the cast was like yeah, typing was the... like. So for me, an alien movie is in my head, right? Or even a Predator movie by extension. Actually, like, let's do Predator instead. Predator is like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny Glover, right? When mm-hmm. we're right, right, we're talking about. So in my head, I'm looking for more tough grizzle. That's really not exactly what we got from that movie. It was way more fun and funny, right? And a little more open. Oh well, that's you're talking about the fourth one, right? Oh, okay, so sorry, the... I thought you were talking about. Yeah, the I remember fourth one. the fourth one was a little bit more. Yeah, sorry, you know three was a little too? better though. Um, Shane Black was the one that. So wait, were that. you talking Aliens versus Predators then, or are we no, talking? No, sorry, just the uh, sorry, just the Predator, just the Predator movies alone. Gotcha. So Predator Three was the one when they dropped off all those special forces from all over the world onto their Predator uh, home planet. And they were fighting like this new subspecies of predator that didn't even look like they were like the cousins of the other predators, but they were like a little bit bigger. Yeah, I don't even think I've ever seen this one. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I don't you think I've ever out. seen this one. Yeah, check it out. I mean, it's not like great, but it's not terribly bad either. I mean, I kind of enjoyed it for I what mean, it was. It made its box office back. <laughs> that's the biggest test of yeah, if a movie did. i mean i really like the designs of those new predators that they made in there and it was i mean it, it was looks cool like idea. it had the update like i don't know how and it I was different seen this I, I like that they were doing something because you know we always get the predators on our home planet or something yeah, like that. yeah yeah that's cool usually have it be like oh they're actually on their home planet now fighting all right yeah i was thinking of predator or whatever the four, newest yeah, one was, four, which was yep, yep. definitely one that hit like, and that one way was different. okay too. You know, I won't say it was terribly bad. Either. I'll, I'll probably say it was maybe a six out of ten for me. But like I said, some of the characters I liked, I was okay with. There was there was some casting problems I didn't like. Like, um, like I said, that was my biggest issue with it. Was the I felt like most of the cast was not uh, who I would expect for a Predator movie, yeah. right? You had like Keenan Thompson or. No, no, you mean Keo uh, Peel? Keo Peel, yeah, sorry. Was yeah, he one. was on, uh, you know, and he did okay. There, he was, was trying, you know what they're trying was... to do is because he was trying to be that jokester one yeah. from the first movie. Yeah, up, which makes sense. And there was like, they which did it would have been, which would have been cool, <laughs> would have been cool for me if it was, what, like, again, do you have like these hardened badasses on the other yeah, end to like, no, 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 no. And, that's, oh, but... and they went to the get-go when they went with the name, we're the loonies. <laughs> we're the loonies. All right, well, I mean, now, I, was, now I have something to watch is, after this, at least. I did like some of the, the Predator designs. Uh, the Assassin Predator was kind of cool and different. Well, the, once again, that the was armor, my big thing armor, was uh, mostly just, I, I even didn't mind the story. For me, it was, once again, mostly just kind of the Cast. casting, yeah. which yeah, isn't always that. a problem, you know what, then, like, but Olivia can Munn, be. The, that, she was not my favorite through the movie as, uh, yeah, as well. Yeah, I... Oh, and then they yeah. made some she, she they made some really dumb jokes that I just really didn't care for and I was like mm, not really funny like the whole predator joke you know remember when they were like yeah he's a predator and then she's like well he's not really a predator he's 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 a I, I forget what she says and I'm like you guys are taking the the, the literal the definition yeah of it away from it just making a joke out I don't like it it, it just <laughs> I mean, wasn't so there was some jokes it wasn't I didn't care for it wasn't once again bad it just wasn't there's just some things, yeah. yeah. Just didn't. It was. It wasn't done. what I felt like I wanted to see from a Predator movie, which I guess once again you gotta gotta like. It's like ah, well, just you know, you shouldn't expect from him, but you know, it's it's but, like uh, a half and half. I, and well, what that's why I, I say it was say still is, um, decent. The just... director of that was Shane Black, who actually did the first, uh, who was in the first uh, Predator movie. He played one of the Marines. Yes. He was the one that was making the jokes. Yes, I know. That's why I <laughs> felt like it. And then once again, the people have talked about it like this was going to be the great Predator movie because Shane Black was making it, and he was, mm, and it wasn't. He it just did was. Iron Man three, so I would say no. Yeah, he that. had he had a he. Well, that was the thing though. They were like, he's going to do fine because he was in the other Predator, so he knows what what's what it's no, supposed to be a really good director who did that movie for him. yeah well, and they had some really good writers and and they had some really good casting yeah it's some good casting it as well the, yeah, like was, said, yeah come on man it's like the original uh shit he was in the original right not in two because two is no yeah just he was in the first one yeah, yeah so then the it was one. uh arnold schwarzenegger you know what i mean who was at the there time was, uh, a huge uh, one of the name. wrestlers? Oh uh, God, the... let me see. Uh, I think he passed away, right? Let's see. I, I'm gonna look real quick on the IMDb. 
Um, but uh, while you're looking that up, other than that, I can't wait to hopefully uh, Disney gives somebody the rights to, oh, you know, just to do another Predator story. Yeah, they but had Jesse Ventura, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Kevin Peter Hall, who's playing the yeah, Predator. Uh, Bill yeah, Duke. I still find funny that J- uh, John Black Van Dan was supposed to be uh, the pre- the, uh, the main the guy. Yeah. Or was he the Predator? I thought he was supposed to be. Oh, the main he was guy. supposed to be the Predator. Oh God, thank yeah, God he, he was... wasn't. Have you seen the original design that they were gonna go with? Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, thank yeah, thank God. They it's kind of like the same design. thing with like the original Alien design, where you're like, yeah, no, you made the right choice. Good job, boys. Good yeah, job good switching. Job, <laughs> like. Good, good. Um, so, somebody was thinking when they were like, "That's like, not gonna work, guys." Yeah, someone saw that and they're like, "Yeah, we can't, we can't do this." Um, yeah, they were. Do- he did some test shots. I've I've seen some of it online, and they they actually did some test runs with the original Predator suit, and it just looks bad, man. It yeah, yeah it it's it's good. one of those things. I mean, sometimes they're bad, and sometimes you'd be like, "All right." So like one of the ones I remember is like Chris Farley being uh, slated to play Shrek. Oh yeah, which I actually that. wasn't bad. He played a different Shrek, right? But yeah, like he did. he did. But it wouldn't have been bad. It would have just been Farley's Shrek and. It's one of those ones, right? Like, you just never know. It's just, like, it's just different. I yeah. mean, obviously, we've all fallen in love with Michael Myers. So he's gotten several movies. Mike and... Myers, yeah, he has a... Uh, he, he does good because he's, he's a good uh, range of, like, voice acting. And, yeah, uh, his Chris voice Farley acting. Chris Farley Chris Farley. Right, which would have been great. <laughs> I mean, we could all... The world could always use more Chris Farley, but... Um... Yeah, which I could. I was sad that, you know... Yeah, Boston yeah, obviously. A, obviously. Time. I love his movies. I still oh, watch, yeah. you know, them here... Oh yeah, so often. But, it's kind of um, it's what like I said, it's one of those things where you're like sad because Chris Farley had his very particular style, right? Like he didn't act; he was just Chris Farley. But <laughs> uh, and I think Adam Sandler is very much similar, although he has in in more recent years been better at acting, gotten different. Yeah, roles. have you seen this movie, The Gem? No, I've heard about it, and I really want to check because I think it really it's, is one of his examples of acting. So fucked up, but just watch it, man. Yeah, I'll it's like, check it out. Actually, just the whole movie through the whole movie, you're just like, oh my gosh, man, this is getting ridiculous. Why are you making such dumb decisions after dumb decision? <laughs> it gets bad, but watch it though. It's really he does show like a really good range of acting. I think, which I think movie. is good. And it's not to say that he hasn't done acting. It's just that in general, when Adam Sandler acts in the past, or especially when he started, he was just being Adam Sandler in a movie. Yeah. He was not like playing any buddy, character. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, and... absolutely. Um, and very much, and we've talked about actors who do that, and once again, that's not to say that they can't act, right? Like a lot of these people, for example, Samuel L. Jackson does actually have the ability to be a great actor and does act. Oh yeah, in certain movies he, to a great I extent. I've seen some good movies of his uh, his acting skills. There, there but is. A... In general, right? Like that's what we talk about, right? In general, they play themselves in a role. Yeah, which is mm-hmm. fine. Uh, but having said that, like, for example, one of my big ones I always forget about uh, that is a recent one is Samuel L. Jackson in Unbreakable. Or is it the I other think one? I've seen that one. It's, this, it's the one with uh, Bruce Willis and him and the superhero yeah. stuff that connects. Yeah, to the yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Where, watch that and one. And that finally. is very much that, that is a very much one. Uh, he also does a pretty good decent job acting in the kingsman where he plays a different character than himself really. oh yeah he was uh, yeah he was in that he's one kind of yeah, that lift be kind of like yeah um <laughs> but i feel like a lot of the time he's just playing samuel jackson which is fine and we love him for it that's that's my uh-huh. only thing is uh and so very much in the same way like you know you get these characters who are just typed in and farley would have been one of those where he just he played Farley, and we, we, you know, we had him for such a short time that we kind of just cherish everything that he put out. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, let's see what else then I had here. Um, I know tomorrow, I think Super Seven is coming out with their, um, because their, they're doing the, th- they have the Thundercats line right now. Oh, okay. And, and um, they're doing the Ultimate one, so they're about seven inch fig- uh, figures. But uh, they just announced that they're doing the. Um, the panthor uh tank oh yeah i saw your post on that where you could fit where, wasn't it also for it wasn't <laughs> just massive. wasn't it not just for the thundercats but you could also put some other figures in there with them oh yeah 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 they said uh let me see here oh yeah here it is well, I but i just the, remember yeah, 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 tomorrow. but um it's pretty penny um for sure because 
vehicles are not cheap to tool and uh, no and it was just so funny because in the past you think about them they were not cheap but they had somehow like productionized them mm-hmm. obviously they're well, really shitty but still I was, I, uh, there's this really cool one uh the gi joe um jet um battleship i forget is like the, the i guess epitome of uh toy engineering is what i've heard because the, the actual toy creators, they went to an actual um, launch pad where they they fired the jets at on this uh, ship and they got the blueprints and everything. And, and they literally downsized this actual, you know, humongous ship to a, a toy size. <laughs> and well, they had all this accessories. And, and like, which one was it, that it, It's really again? crazy what they could do with toys. <laughs> well, they, you could do anything. I mean, it's all about how much you're willing to work, put in I work know, and then how much too. and then how much uh, it costs afterwards. <laughs> But, um, so for this one, it's going to cost about uh, it's costing four hundred and fifty. It's measuring about twenty seven inches long and about seventeen inches wide. Um, it's for the ultimates, and it can carry up to about six Thundercats of the ultimate figure lines on there. So those are the seven inch figures. Okay. And um, the pre order starts tomorrow, and they are pay- doing payment plans for it. But again, it's about four hundred and fifty plus the shipping, and you're supposed to expect it around. Quarter one, uh, twenty twenty two. I mean, these are be... uh, open to pre order, so they yeah. they don't have these in production. What they do is they get all their pre orders, and then after that, then they start getting production ready for it. And then once uh, pre orders are done, that's it. Yeah, you're probably never gonna see this thing again getting made. <laughs> um, Which is kind uh, of what else cool about it is uh, because I watched a little bit of the interview is when they molded it, they molded it from the inside and then they have another mold from the inside. uh, I'd well. So like everything is very detailed in the inside of the the tank as well. And it won't be like, you know, stickers that you slap on or anything like that. Um, Everything's going to be painted and it it just looks it looks pretty cool. So we'll oh, and then glow in the dark. front panel so like the the eyes the teeth the claws will be glow in the dark um yeah there's some cool cool little accessories it's going to come out with nice that's dope i just noticed my camera shut off Oops. yeah i was about to say that <laughs> i forgot to say i just like i uh, noticed a second ago actually but, but yeah if anybody's that. into thundercats loves thundercats they have the ultimate <laughs> uh line still out uh, i think they're just barely doing wave two um, so yeah, you, you guys can still catch up with those. And I think they're still fairly, uh, uh, you can add them or they're still online order still. Nice. Um, yeah, I think you can go to still entertainment earth or big bad toy store. It sounds or like it's maybe even your local cool. comic yeah. shop and see if they have them. Cause I know that they, uh, yeah. they have some as well. I, I can't wait for the day to come when these production companies like this can feasibly create these things like on demand one by one not in batch runs where you're like all right i really like this and you go look through the archive and like man this looks amazing and even if it was like 50 bucks more to buy an archive piece or something you're like boom fucking be print nice. it out because one day it'll happen right like eventually yeah. the technology's got to yeah, get there, there there might be a time when we get there yeah eventually yeah like i said not i'm not saying it's soon soon <laughs> it's it's the kind of the 3d movie thing right like i'm not saying even within our lifetimes that this will be a thing but just technology you know the future of this stuff we should be able to get there as long as we don't screw ourselves. <laughs> like, no, but um, and it sounds dope. I mean, obviously, if we, as as uh, adults, these are adult toys, right? And that's always yeah, kind of the point of these things is and people to remember. They're like, yeah, this is not much, something you buy for your eight year old because they'll smash it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no kids buy toys. I mean, like, no children buy toys. How about that? Uh, like, no, I feel like. Uh, Kitty, kitty, kitty one to stuff, five like, right like and yeah all like stuff. and fine. even if they did they they don't appreciate them yet at that age they're not knowledgeable about the characters they recognize like oh this is spider-man and that's mm-hmm. that's it that they know who it is but they don't like have the history and that's not to say you can't love it or enjoy it just that but once again a 70 or plus dollar toy is probably not something you want to give to a five-year-old who's going to rip it in half and oh, then they're going to be sad yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, well, i mean and, when you're buying from like mayfix and hot toys hot toys are like 200 dollars toy yeah. action figures they're yeah. 200 dollars action figure to- but these things are great i mean like that's no they have a ton of ton of um, ton of work into them a ton of design into the uh what's it called articulations on these things are so far beyond what we had when we were kids 
where you'd have maybe the arms and legs could move and the head could turn side to side. That's like, that's not what these are anymore. You know what I mean? They have full, a lot of them have a full head range movement, uh, accessories, accessories. Yeah. Different headsets. And then um, the just quality, I mean... <laughs> obviously being this, this plastic's not going to wear and tear and like the, the paint's not going to just chip off in a year. Like they did when we were kids with the stuff we would get. As kids, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, cause I yes. think about that sometimes as like, holes are much 10 times yeah. better. <laughs> Most of the time, I still say sometimes they there's don't a, get the good. There's, there's a couple, there's a couple of them like, where I feel like they didn't get the rights correctly, or they just didn't get it quite right. But yeah, oh. um, with that, there like, there's like things I wanted to say. Um, what Super Seven? I wanted to say too with them. I guess they just got the license for Godzilla, uh, cool. Power Rangers, and Transformers. Um, they cool. just released their Transformers line. Um, but they they have a whole different like uh, line of stuff. Like they do the reaction stuff, which mm-hmm. is like kind of like the old school Kenner, um, simple kind of detail articulate. But like their old school Kenner stuff, kind of uh, packaging even with the card back. Um, then they have um, the Ultimate line, which are a little bit more expensive figures. They're like the forty dollar, forty five dollar figures, yeah, I mean. but they come with tons of accessories, more articulation. Um, and then they got a couple other lines as well uh, from Super Seven, and um, you should check them out. They're really cool. They they were like a small time company, and uh, they're like little punk heads as well too. But they're nerds as well. <laughs> That's cool. And, I like that uh, a lot of the small time companies have made their foot in the door with this kind of pandemic going on, and kind mm-hmm. of the playing field being a little equaled out in some sense. Yeah, there's different companies you can buy toys from now. You don't have to always go to like Hasbro, Mattel, or mm-hmm. you know the big the big uh, ones now. Now no, there no, is these sure. smaller time companies like NECA, Super Seven, Hot Toys. Yeah, um, and they're definitely SHI, pretty, and they're arts. making great stuff. I think is the the real crux of it is like I think our problem with Hasbro and Mattel and stuff is that being those giants, they get lazy and kind of despondent in their product, uh, mm-hmm. where they know like we're the big guys, we don't have to release. The highest quality to get our sale margin and these guys are not that way like NECA and hot toys and set super seven are like you know they're kind of mom and pop stores in a sense yeah, just online yeah, they... you know mm-hmm. uh, and i think i want people to like not forget that that even though they're now becoming big retailers these are not people with like tons of staff or tons of no, yeah a lot of people get uh get really cranky because a lot of, there's still a lot of stuff that uh NECA has been shipped needs to ship still that people have ordered since june but uh i mean i you gotta just, i understand that they're not too big of a company and then like even funny because like sometimes when i have ordered from them they like use different distribution things like everywhere because like i'll get it from like some other company i've never heard of i'm mm-hmm. like well they didn't use that company last yeah, time yeah no and they're... and they're really like shopping around they're not like Mattel and Hasbro that have these set contracts, right, with distributors that have set contracts with UPS and uh, FedEx and shit. They 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 they're not they're that's not what they're about. And I honestly pray they don't get to that point because well, that's where that, the that's where the line moves, right? Yeah, From being the kind yeah. of like I want them to, and not to say I want them to struggle or anything. Like I want them <laughs> to have consistency, but I want them to maintain this kind of smaller, more economically friendly uh design right like people think that big companies are good for the economy but it's not necessarily Uh super true (laughs) right like uh it's just one of those things right where when you go from small big to big corporation that sometimes you lose something that you have with these smaller distributors and i feel like that they've still doing these great things right they they reach out to their communities they're doing crowdfunding stuff in order to understand what they need to put out right for these uh different toys and figures and maybe not only like crowdfunding but just like regular uh audience sourcing of like all right we're gonna make this whatever spawn car and for every extra thousand people that say they're gonna pre-order we'll add another little thing and we'll add another because you've talked about that a lot where they kind of get into that and i think that's and I yeah, think that's that, I'm still imp- waiting for my spawn figures. Uh, blame, blame the packaging. They're coming on a boat in China. They were they were said they're on a boat. <laughs> they're in China. in a boat we're, from we're China. Waiting for them to ah, ah, California. Ah, 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 and I'm ah. like, well, bro, oh. that was three weeks ago. Where where they said, does it take three weeks for them to come to China on the boat? I don't know. Maybe it does. Do. I've <laughs> I've never boated from China, man. Um, what I do got to say about that is the whole world's kind of on a shit show from that, especially anything yeah. coming from China. It's just yeah, that's totally, okay. I don't get like that totally too. Screwed. I know there's some people who just get really mad that like, mm, but then like, like I said, if, if, it, if it wasn't the pandemic, you know, I think things would a little bit be more yeah, smoother. I think that but, would be um, really the thing is for me is I'd kind of give a lot of passes for the pandemic in a lot of sense where I'm like, look, the world is not 
what it regularly is, right? Like, where it's like, okay, I can send a package. You'll definitely be here in two weeks. Most of the time, right? Even even during the regular times, it's just not how it works. It just goes wrong. Things get mislabeled, sent the wrong place. Yeah, I, I had dropped. something in the mail. I was supposed to get my Doc Brown from Back to the Future, and oh, cool. uh, it got it got sent to somewhere else. Oh shit! And I was like, not Jerks. cool. But Walmart yeah. gave him a refund back, so I'm just gonna wait to find it in the store. I right, we'll and that that is a little rough when you don't get it. But once again, at least they made <laughs> it. You know, at least they refund. I feel like when they do this like that, they should be a refund and like a coupon or something. But yeah, right. But, yeah, that's oh, just well. me. But hey, look, man, that's just. That. Um, I service. mean, I've been just catching up on comics, and there's still a lot. Oh to, God, to I'm so doing. far behind, like on everything right now. I'm probably yeah. at least two weeks behind on all the comics, which oh, is why I've been like not even like. Worse, probably, I think I have like maybe five months worth of books that I still. Oh uh, yeah, get. but you read all the uh, side uh, publishers I know, too. I, need to stop I only read already. some I of them. Myself already, like I'm reading too much like side stuff. I just like, feel I like you got to pick and choose them because, like, I even drop Marvel and DC books if they're not like if I like them, I read them, right? Like, that, and that's kind of what I like for yours is you always pick up new stuff so you're always finding new good things yeah and that's what ends up happening i do find new good stuff but then i need to, I need to do it where like if i don't like it the first or second issue just cut it off <laughs> yeah well especially for you because you pull physicals which is so much storage whereas i run yeah, digital and that's so that's another thing i need to start getting rid of too is some books that i just don't yeah. need no more and get rid of it's tough man the physicals is all rough that's why i've been and obviously that's the whole trademark and stuff but i've been i've been loving digital man like Obviously, it's yeah. not the same, right? There's not, there's, yeah. it'll never be the same as having a comic. No. But man, is what? it nice to be able to go through and not have to search through a box or something? Just like, yes, this year, chapter yeah. five, fucking nine, yeah. I'm going to read this shit. Eventually, what <laughs> yeah. I'll probably do is I'll only probably keep the books that I really, really, really love and just keep them as like physical. And then the other stuff that just like, I'll be like, hey, let me try it. Just do digital. <laughs> Especially, I think, for like newer titles where you're not like, and obviously it's trades i might even start doing that too i was thinking about that too because you do trades are so nice as well um i feel like for me too once again it's even beyond like some of the like i don't know the storage of this but like the uniformity of being able to go through and be like all right i don't have to flip through 20 books to find this certain chapter like i know this book's in this volume right here or yeah, and it's it nice too, still have to sometimes you, you just be like, oh, well, I'm going to read a full arc, and I don't have to be like, well, right. wait, what happened last month? <laughs> next book, next book, where is it? Um, and once again, a lot of those issues obviously still maintain the same or so. only slightly different, but there is something to be said for each end. And once again, I always am envious because I want more, right, physical, because I I do do digital for expediency and ease, but also space, right, like to just have a whole mm, uh, thing because even like I have like some cards I got to get rid of that I'm just like ugh because they're just taking up too much space like but I don't know I'm, I'm excited I've been enjoying a lot of the uh stuff I've like I said I'm super far behind in the catch up on all the King and Black stuff and catch up on Marvel Mutant stuff like everything which I feel so bad on but I've been watching the WandaVision stuff and I've been doing a bunch of stuff for the channel where I'm like reorganizing the playlists mm -hmm. and getting old episodes of Comic Convos up I finally bought a capture play. card for. Oh, uh, nice! For your because uh, I was the way I was doing was my Xbox was streaming to my laptop. Yeah, it's not good. Video. It's not always the great. And then what I what ended it's up happening like delay. is I play on my big TV with the 4K HDR, and what it was doing was it, once I started streaming to my laptop, it would actually turn off my HDR and my TV for whatever reason. Mm. I don't know why. And then I was like, oh. so I had to buy a capture card that does pass through with 4K. And, no, it's uh, it's good to have. I remember I haven't gotten one in a couple of years because I mostly do uh, caps from Twitch. So I like stream to Twitch and then just cap it from there. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also using it just for streaming. So no, no, no really recording because my laptop probably couldn't, <laughs> probably couldn't handle it. No, I understand but, uh, uh, but no, I get it. I've I've had to do a couple of those same things where it's like, and I just couldn't do the Xbox Live cast or whatever. It was like kind of sometimes it had issues with the quality or like delay, and then I, it just wasn't working that well. So I switched over to so doing that. I do wish I still had a cap card just so it was like a little more expedient. I could go directly into recording here and have a little uh -huh. more control over the audio and shit. Because I will say pulling it off of uh, Xbox is sometimes rough if my if my streaming bandwidth isn't great. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it yeah, drops yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that you just won't get that when you do uh, a cap card. What uh, what card did you get? 
Elgato or something? Um, yeah, I got an Elgato HD. It, it's just the standard, you know what I mean? Like, everybody gets an Elgato. <laughs> it's just, I, it's, I, just, I looked at it, and yeah, I was like, this is probably the best external. It's, it's, and even if it's not the best, it's like the standard, right? Like, it's the affordable, good version, where it's like, all right, yeah. you know, the best yeah, microphone like is probably... I was looking at, like, $400 probably... ones, and I was like, with 4K, 6 with pass-through, I'm like, oh, no, I'm not spending that much for uh, that. Not for this. The Elgato is affordable. <laughs> That's the other thing. I, I need to look at getting a new web webcam because i cast with the uh this camera over here and then i talk with you on this camera but uh the battery issue is just a pain in the ass man every 30 minutes it dies and i would rather just get a hd camera that's not 4k because i don't think this one's 4k either i think this is 1080 so it'll basically look the same and then with the lighting everything should get good and well and anyways we can't stream and for because i was reading on yeah Facebook, it's too it'll, much let's go up to 720p i think uh i think 30. they'll do i think they'll do 1080 on facebook if Maybe you're 10, but i think it's only with but i think it's only if you're that. but i think it's only if you're partnered you get 1080 or whatever yeah, like. yeah, yeah yeah that's what it was okay so it is 720 30 frames so per yeah second, for us then. it's no point in doing it here it's mostly for like gaming on twitch but even then once again 4k that nobody's fucking streaming at 4k it's too much bandwidth oh, bro way too much bandwidth it's yeah because just... you know what ended up happening last month i ended up going over my uh my, in- <laughs> my bro, internet I, I, and I was like what the hell what did i, I do? straight was so pissed because they switched my thing off without telling me or like my thing expired and they didn't tell me so i paid like an extra 60 dollars for less internet than the new plan i had to switch to oh, i was like fucking fucker and uh and i pay for unlimited because I know I'll go over and I have a ton of people in the house doing internet. So it's just like, and I should have, and I didn't know, I thought we had unlimited, but I guess we don't, I guess what we have is just high speed, mm-hmm. but then they give us only a terabyte of data. Right. The and then month. you have to pay for like a backer program or whatever, which is another like 20 or $30 yeah, yeah, so for unlimited. I, didn't, I don't know. I, we never went over the data before. Right. Until and I started for, 4K and exactly, I was like, okay, we, gotta, yeah. we really got to watch what we're streaming on. Oh, 4K yeah. now. And it's, <laughs> and it's so ridiculous besides even just that, like the actual usage on your computer. Like if you streaming on 4k you can't do anything else basically like if yeah, you got a nice a computer yeah, yeah, yeah. you can get away with it but let's be honest like it's just not worth for probably another one or two years before we're really at that point oh. where all, all a lot of our devices will be able yeah. to handle and, and my other thing is people like are always like 4k 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 like i don't like 4k i think it looks too real I watched uh, my because I bought some 4K movies the other yeah, day. Yeah, no, I dude. Like, I, 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 I reason and my I, my son is like, yeah, it almost looks real. And I'm like, I know it looks great, bro. I, it like bothers me though of certain things. So like, I remember because I had forgotten. We I remember years ago I went to watch uh, Lord of the Rings in 4K when they had oh, done okay. it. And the, yeah. dude, and I remember looking at it, I'm like, it looks too real for a fantasy movie. Like the colors are so uh, plaid and like, which yeah. it was cool. But that's what I think people like have to remember is like, because I remember when I got uh, my TV over here is a 4K because I had to get it to do editing in 4K for videos, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to do 4K videos. Can't do it unless you got a 4K from television. Um, and it's all up now. I don't know what the hell happened, but it's got like lines running fucking down. Like I literally don't oh. know what happened. It had like one over here and these ones just like showed up. So um, now I got to go get a new one. Um, well, I mean, at least now they're more abundant now, 4K. I mean, everything. It's like a lot. 4K, Even this 4K, one, 4K, I got yeah. it used for like 50 bucks, dude. It was so yeah, cheap. So and it's so. like a 40 I mean, they're, inch they're much more affordable now than Absolutely. they were maybe um, two years ago. But I tried to tell people, it was like, most things, one, aren't produced for 4K, right? No, there's still not a lot of things. I'm all, I mean, it's like half and half, but about, it's that's. About a year, two I'd say years, most yeah, television nothing. isn't made for 4K. Most. No, no. Uh, it's movies, right? Certain movies and certain like games or specialty things are made for 4K. Otherwise, mm-hmm. most things, right? Like I, like I had to go look up special videos on YouTube or special movies to watch oh, them yeah, in 4K, watch them 4K, which yeah. is cool and it looks good. But man, it's just like so hyper realistic; it almost desensitizes you to oh, like watching yeah. a screen. And then to the other technology that I'm more uh, that I'm more excited about is like that HDR stuff that they're doing more yeah. of and. Uh, where it's supposed to give you wider color spectrum and it and it dictates space it's just software basically that dictates yeah how, how the color colors are palleted out yeah um which i think which is, is interesting it makes things i think good but see that's another thing though because hdr since it's software I, it, it's like the compatibility issues of like your device mm-hmm. working with this and then because you have to everything has to be hdr so your tv has to do hdr your device has to do no HDR. i know because the my tv has hdr and it's like like look you can only run this at 
this input, right? It's like you're not, you can't yeah. do this here. It's like no HDR. Or, here. And then, yeah, it, it's really yeah. It's, so then, and then not every company has HDR. I think uh, right because on my uh, Xfinity box, mm -hmm. I have 4K and I'll, it will run HDR. But when I go watch 4K Amazon, what it will do is it literally like darkens the whole screen. Dude, I'm dude, like, oh my god, and that I kills me. And I'm like, I can't that fix kills it. me. Uh, I play video games that do the same thing. Like I'll be playing Rust lately. The whole screen gets dimmer because it's not recognizing that as an HDR input and it's not doing the correct color adjustment. So it's just like, Bleh. yeah. So that, and I'm yeah, just I like, my and, fire stick to watch my 4k stuff because mm -hmm. it actually translates HDR much better than my stupid. And, that's, and I think that was the difference is that my, my PC puts out HDR, but my Xbox, I don't believe does. Ah, uh, okay. But it might, uh, what, which one do you have? Is it the one X? I don't think I have the one X. I have oh, like the see, one. I think the one X yeah. is the only one. I believe one that was it does, that. but I have the one that was done for Gears of War four, I think. So I have like a special version one, which is okay. why it doesn't. You know what I mean? That's why yeah. I didn't get the one X at the time. I wonder if I could still sell this bitch for any money. Doubtful. But like those things are never worth anything. Um, yeah. except for the Halo ones. But uh we're kind of approaching our time. Is yeah. there anything? Oh, there was one other oh, thing. Uh the Resident Evil we had talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll do that and then we'll save the um we'll save the Godzilla Kong for the next one. Yeah, I think that'll be good because I mean, it'll still be hype. I mean, yeah. Ooh, it doesn't come out to the end of March. Yeah, and we're gonna be focusing on that way more than the Snyder cut. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one comes at the beginning of March, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're March gonna have 30. to be dealing with the the backlash of that. Cause here's the thing, no matter I'm what have to see what's gonna happen no, with that. Oh yeah, I'm interested. I'm going into it with a fresh mind, just knowing that I'm not like I know how Snyder is, so I know what to expect. Um which is something I need to remind myself. I think that was the other thing with Batman versus Superman is I went in expecting a Batman versus Superman movie. And it's, and I was, what I should have been expecting was a Snyder movie. <laughs> I should say like that, but no. Uh, so this one I'm going in with kind of like the expectation of like, all right, I'm just going to blank whatever I knew before. Check this out. And, and I, and it couldn't be worse, right. Than the other justice league. So <laughs> it couldn't be worse than the, the one that came out. They're going to be brooding on top. They're going to be brooding. <laughs> My whole life is awful. Everything <laughs> sucks. The world is about to be destroyed. <laughs> this is a superhero movie. <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I. But so. Is so is my <laughs> Why did you say that name? And then someone tried to do the whole fuck he's alive i'm like look dude that's just not the same and if you don't get how that's not the same you don't understand cinematic writing that's fine that's oh, fine but it's just so oh, not the same yeah, I'm, I'm so what's gonna happen we'll see what it does um <laughs> i'm just i'm just so confused with the whole freaking universe of dc at this point now they fuck like, their whole beans. what does this do this is like does this like set like more steps of what they're going to plan to do? There's or? no connection because, here, bro. This because, is them like, pandering to bitchy gone. fans, which He's is gone. why, which is why no matter what happens, no matter if it's good or bad, there's going to be basically an equal number of people who hit this it and an equal number of people who like it. Cause you have the Snyder tards, which is what I will absolutely call them who are just going to love everything he puts out no matter what. And for people who think I hate Snyder, I don't. I love Watchmen. It's one of my favorite superhero movies because its style lends itself to his style, which is dark and brooding. That's the point. Once again, it's I don't like Batman vs Superman. That's and his. Honestly, man, he did Man of Steel too, right? Yeah, he did Man of Steel. I didn't mind Man of Steel that badly. It, it really wasn't that great, but it's not the travesty that is Batman. I don't think Superman. I've actually seen Man of Steel. You should watch right it. Now. It's not bad. I it's, check it out. It's, uh, it's, it's one of my lists. Uh, I think it, I either gave it a seven, I think, or six. I got to go look at my my ranking list again. That was at the time when I was like really like getting into <laughs> Marvel more, and like I didn't care for DC stuff, so I was like, I'm gonna watch no DC stuff. <laughs> no, I feel it, and I I didn't watch it until later either, which. It was fine. It, it just didn't feel very Supermanish to me a lot of the time. I feel like a lot of it doesn't, you know, Superman's supposed to be a s hope, justice in American way kind of guy, and that I didn't feel like was the movie for that. <laughs> um, which is fine. But, like it's his take. Yeah. But uh, so you were saying the Resident Evil now for uh, so. right before we get yes yeah, before we got distracted that uh Resident Evil had their new trailer reveal, which we will try to um. Now, so did that game come out already? I don't know, actually. Um, it's called The Village, right? Or yeah, something? Resident Evil Village. Uh, let's see, Resident Evil Village. Is it out yet? 
You know what game I did play this weekend? Though, Initial release DM. date 2021, so I don't think it's out yet. Okay. Because huh. it would say March I'm or something. talking some about it so much then. Maybe I think the it's just out. that trailer, bro. It's the okay. straight yeah. trailer. It came out on the 21st, which is about <laughs> a little uh, more than a week ago, which is when the hype okay. started. Here, okay. we'll watch it real quick, and you'll see why it's all hype. It's a pretty... I, I actually haven't seen it's it either. I've just uh, heard yeah, of it. Vampires, it. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.